hi everyone in this video we will understand how to study the series and parallel resonance circuits practically by finding the resonant frequency bandwidth and quality factor before that we need to set a sinusoidal voltage of 10 volts peak to peak using the function generator as well as CRVO first of all we will see this is the function generator which is used to supply various signals like a sinusoidal signal, square signal or triangular signal of required frequency as well as required amplitude. So we can change the frequency as well as the amplitude by using the function generator for a particular signal with the help of knobs provided. After that we also need cathode ray oscilloscope which is a CRVO where we can measure different signals. Now I am connecting the output of a function generator to the CRVO probe which has positive and negative terminals. After connecting the function generator to the CRVO we can visualize the uh, waveform in the cathode ray oscilloscope. Now we are setting 10 volts peak to peak means here I have 5 divisions made by the waveform which are vertical divisions and this cathode ray oscilloscope contains uh, 2 channels. This is the first channel and uh, you can also observe this is the second channel. But I have connected the function generator to the first channel so I need to check for volt per division in the first channel as it is a 2 so the voltage which I applied is 10 volts. Now let us see the series resonance circuit. It contains the inductor 107 milli Henry, capacitor 0 0.1 microfarad and the resistor 4.7 kilo ohm all are connected in series. The input is supplied from the function generator where we have set a, a voltage of 10 volts peak to peak sinusoidal signal and the output is measured across the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. By changing the input frequency, the output voltage will also change. So, what we will do in this experiment is, we will change the frequency of the input signal. For different frequencies, we will note down the output voltage. After noting the output voltage, the tabular column is formulated as follows input frequency in one column, input voltage, output voltage and the gain which can be obtained by using the formula 20 log V0 over VI. Okay? Now after obtaining all these uh, values, we need to plot the variation of gain with respect to frequency. You will get the variation like this and exactly at minus 3 dB if you draw a line it uh, touches this graph at two different uh, points one point is uh, named as the lower cutoff frequency and another frequency can be called as upper cutoff frequency the difference between these two is called as bandwidth and the resonant frequency is one where we got the maximum value of uh, gain because the output voltage will be maximum at that resonant frequency so the gain will be almost equal to 0 dB at resonant frequency. Okay, From this uh, we can uh, study the characteristics of series resonant circuits. Now let us see how to do it uh, practically. See here what I am trying to do now is I am connecting the resistor inductor as well as capacitor in series. If you observe uh, these two are the inductor terminals one is uh, red and black and these two uh, if you observe the circuit once again one end of the inductor is connected to one end of the capacitor the other end of the capacitor is connected to resistor and the other end of resistor is connected to ground and the function generator negative terminal must also be connected to ground. Is it right or not? So what I am trying to do now is uh, I am connecting the function generator negative to ground and function generator positive to 
one at seven uh, milli Henry, and the inductor, the leftover terminal of the inductor is connected to the capacitor. So you can observe that. So I have connected first inductor positive terminal to uh, function generator positive terminal and inductor another terminal to the capacitor, capacitor another terminal to resistor and I am closing the circuit by connecting the negative terminal of the function generator to the ground where the resistor is also connected. Okay. After connecting the function generator terminal to the ground, what we need to do is we need to connect the cathode ray oscilloscope across the resistor 4.7 kilo ohm because I want to measure the output across that resistor. So I am connecting the positive terminal of uh, the probe to one end of the resistor and the negative terminal of the probe to another end of the resistor. By connecting the, uh, these uh, two probes across the resistor of 4.7 kilo ohm, we can observe the output in the cathode ray oscilloscope. Make sure that all the wires or the uh, all the connecting wires as well as the components are connected properly in the breadboard. See, we got the output uh, measured in the CRO. Now, what I am trying to do is I want to obtain different values of output for different frequencies. So, I have changed the range to 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo hertz, and I am changing the knob. Okay, by changing the knob which is provided on the function generator, see the output, output has been changed. Okay, if you want to uh, uh, set the output, means if you want to keep the output at a proper place, you need to move the vertical position of the waveform. And see, again I am changing the uh, frequency to almost uh, 520 hertz, which is less than the resonant uh, frequency. And let me go to the cathode ray oscilloscope. See, the output has increased compared to previous. In the previous case, the frequency is almost 300 hertz. Now it is almost 600 hertz. Now I am keeping uh, the frequency knob exactly at uh, uh, the resonant frequency value. What is the resonant frequency? 1.53 kilo hertz. If you evaluate it uh, theoretically by using the resonant frequency formula for a series or LC circuit, you will get it as 1.53 kilohertz. At that particular frequency, you can observe we got the maximum value of the output, which is almost equal to 10 volts peak to peak. And I am increasing the frequency beyond the resonant frequency. Previously, we got the frequencies uh, below the resonant frequency. Now, I am increasing the frequency beyond the resonant frequency. So, uh, I am setting a frequency of uh, uh, 3600 hertz. See, the voltage has got reduced to 4 divisions, means 4 into 2, 8 volts. Again, I am increasing the frequency and now the frequency is 4.9 kilohertz. You can observe the output. Okay. In this way, we can obtain the various outputs for various frequencies. Now, if you plot this variation of uh, gain with respect to frequency, you can observe that below the resonant frequency, the gain increases with the frequency and uh, above the resonant frequency, the gain reduces with the frequency. This is about series resonant circuit. Now, we will understand the parallel resonant circuit. Here, uh, the inductor capacitor and the resistor all are connected in parallel but the difference is to this parallel combination we got a series resistor which is 1 kilo ohm and the input is uh, supplied from the function generator and the output as usual is measured across uh, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. As all these uh, three are connected in parallel we can measure the voltage anywhere. Now let us see how to study parallel resonant circuit practically. The procedure uh, for parallel resonant circuit is uh, same as series resonant circuit, just the connection is uh, different. Now you can observe here, I have connected the inductor and the resistor 4.7 kilo ohm as well as capacitor all in parallel. 
and to this parallel combination the resistor of 1.1 uh, 1 kilo ohm is connected in series now what i am trying to do is i am connecting the function generator terminal to 1 kilo ohm resistor and the another end of function generator to ground you can observe this from the uh, parallel resonant circuit and in order to measure the output what we need to do we need to connect the cathode ray oscilloscope across uh, any of uh, uh, parallel components here so i am connecting the cro probes across 4.7 kilo ohm resistor you can observe that i got an output which can be measured by multiplying the vertical divisions with the uh, volts per division now again uh, as we have done in series uh, resonant circuit i am changing the frequency and i am obtaining the output voltages for uh, various uh, frequencies see here so i set a frequency of uh, 1.53 kilohertz which is the resonant frequency and we got the output of uh, almost 8 volts because uh, here you can observe there are four divisions made by this waveform so the output voltage is uh, 8 volts and again i am changing the frequency to 3.2 kilohertz which is uh, greater than the resonant frequency you can observe the voltage got reduced and uh, like this uh, for various frequencies we can obtain the various values of output voltage now see i am setting a frequency which is uh, less than the resonant frequency so the frequency is uh, almost uh, mm, 500 hertz now for this frequency again the voltage the output voltage which is measured across the resistor got reduced in this way uh, for series as well as for uh, parallel resonant circuits by knowing the variation of gain with respect to frequency we can obtain its uh, bandwidth we can obtain its resonant frequency and also the quality factor okay